and you can uh, almost fail at actually getting up to him, which you did, so good job, Mario! We'll look for some of them. Now, every episode has different access to certain blue coins, so what we're going to do is uh, ignore Mario over there. Shadow Mario, that is. So we're going to focus on just grabbing the coins that we need to grab. Now, there are some coins that show up in multiple episodes, so if we've grabbed one of those already, then we don't need to grab it again. But I'm going to double check, because you never know. I don't think there's any M's or anything around here that I need to look out for. Alright. I got all the graffiti that's normally around in this part. Um, I don't see too much. Jesus Christ, I would have said do episode one for the coin star. Holy cow. Look at all that. It's ridiculous, man. I'm gonna ride on this wagon wheel. Is there any graffiti on or around here? None that I see. What the heck was that, man? There you go. There's a pretty hidden one. You get a regular coin out of that one. Um, Alright. If we make these go fast, I think you get coins out of them. Yeah. Or blue coins, maybe. This one seems kind of ominous and out of place. There you go. Alright. I actually am gonna fight this guy real quick. Because I need to get to the windmill. And unfortunately there's no easy access to it unless I beat this guy. Ominously out of place. We spray it. There we go. What the fuck, man? Who's spraying that shit? Okay. So we're going to exit area. We're going to episode 3. So there's four blue coins that are unique to this episode that we're going to be finding. And the first one is right over here in these trees. Which, now I'm wondering why I didn't get this last time. What the heck, man? Not supposed to fall off. For some reason, some guy at Nintendo decided that these trees should be a pain in the butt. Let's kill this guy. He, I think, is hiding it. Right? No. I think I have a different one. There it is. <laughs> uh, second to last that I would have checked. Go back into town. Back over to this hillside. Man, if you would stop jumping and jalopping around, Mario. Crazy son of a bitch. Half the time when I jump, I know it might look impressive. Like I did something cool, but trust me, it's not. <laughs> At halftime, it's on accident. Okay. I don't see jack crap over here, which means I might have already gotten this one. Hmm. I'm gonna check it, because I don't want to miss it. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Okay, so what this guy just told me is that it's the one that I found over there. 
which, that's fine. We already got that one, right? Alright, so it looks like I already got that one. There's a blue coin on top of one of these windmills over here, I think. So, this last one in episode 3 requires you, that was an awful jump, to kill this guy where the, uh, where the boss was previously. So, there we go. I'll actually save right there. And uh, then we'll exit the area. We'll see you guys in episode 4. Alright, so welcome to episode 4 of this place. If you uh, manage to get up on this wall, you can walk over to this guy, and you can uh, almost fail at actually getting up to him, which you did, so... Good job, Mario! Dude! Dude, this guy's like a final boss of, like, a game. Like, he's ridiculous, man. He's got the mad hops. There we go. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. So, still in the general vicinity, if we head over from that coin, we can actually find this man over here, who is dirty. And you would never know otherwise, but cleaning him gets you another blue coin. That's my uh, thank you pat on the head. And the last one in this area is the one that we found on the underside of this, which we already collected. So. I'll see you guys in whatever episode is next, episode 5. Alright, welcome to episode 5 of Bianco Hills. Um, if we go up to this guy who is dirty, spray him off. This will net us another blue coin. Sweet shit. So this is the one that I was thinking of, where I was like, man, um, there's got to be something, right? Uh, up on top of this thing that we have up here. This stand. And I couldn't find nothing up there. Well, I guess I got it already, but there is in fact a uh, blue coin that is normally up here. So, yeah. I'll meet you guys back uh, in episode 6, I believe. Alright, welcome to episode 6 of Bianco Hills. Let's see if we can get um, the three blue coins that are actually located in this episode. Uh, first one is over here in the village. I don't know why I'm talking so much for this one. Because they got windmills set up in the village. And actually see one of our blue coins right there. And a blue bird, if you didn't notice that. Gosh darn it, Mario. So one of our blue coins is actually floating out there, if you saw that. Which we will get momentarily. The other one is this blue bird that loves to uh, fly and land up on that windmill, but he also comes down here occasionally to land on that string, or that wire that runs across. So, grab him there and, you know, you're on your gravy. Alright, next up we have this one out here. I'm just gonna hover over to it, should be easy enough, right? Nope, done and done. Now this last one This last one requires us to go back up to where PD Piranha was the first time or the second time. And we actually have to make it over to his platform over here. Do we spray this to make it appear? Yep, there we go. And done and done. That's all of them in episode six. See you guys in episode seven. All right, guys. Uh, welcome to episode seven. As I fail at uh, trying to hop over some flowers, the most noteworthy one here that might be the hardest one to find is one down here at the bottom of the lake. Uh, I think it only appears in this episode, so it can be kind of confusing when you go and look for the other one and you find it down here. 
probably assume that there's no more blue coins on the lake, but there is in fact that one, so keep an eye out for it. Alright, and this last two that you have in this episode are coming from this circle over here. Um, kind of an easy blue coin fetch right here. Oof! I almost didn't get that though. So maybe it's not so easy. Let's head back. There we go. Now on to episode 8. See you there. Alright, welcome to episode 8, where we have a Yoshi who wants a pineapple. He uh, actually doesn't appear until you do the official Yoshi stuff, so... Don't worry if you're sitting there going like, what the fuck? I don't remember there being a Yoshi. Well, that's because there wasn't. I am kind of confused, though, on where I'm going to get a pineapple. That might be a little bit on the uh, stressful side. Where the fuck am I going to get a pineapple? Alright, so there's fruit all over the place in this area. I'm bringing this back to Yoshi because we actually need Yoshi for both of the uh, blue coins that we're gonna get. All right, your first shine that you shine, your first coin, blue coin that you're gonna get with Yoshi comes from uh, certain butterflies that you're gonna be eating. Look at these ones, yeah. Well, oh, that's the extra life. What the hell then? That's a coin, so it must be that blue butterfly that we saw. Come here, you son of a bitch. There he is. Alright. Um, now the next one... ...comes from the beehives over here. Um, if you spray down these beehives... Well, I almost had it. This is also a good way to get a hundred coins, I just realized. Woo! There we go. And that is your blue coins for this world as well. Or, that's all your blue coins for this world, I think. We do exit area and I'll check my totals. Check my totals! Alright, let's check them. Check it, track it, let's begin. You, you piece of shit. Why can't I... Oh, I can't check it. Okay. Gonko Hills, yeah. That's it. 30 blue coins. There you go. 8 shines, 2 secret shines, 100 coins, and 30 blue coins. Gonko Hills is now 100% complete. So, that's that, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. I've been your host, Espio Joanio. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.